Assalamu alaikum. A very important question. Who should be older and younger in marriage? The husband or the wife? Islam says there is no recommendation. There is no teaching that governs who should be older and younger. So both ways is permissible. Unfortunately, we have some people who do not allow their children to marry someone who is older than them if that person is a female, like, you know, the female is older. And they say, how could you do that? But to be honest with you, if you look at the Prophet ﷺ and the companions, many of them married women who were older than them. It's amazing how we've negated, we stop, we disallow something that was practiced by the Prophet ﷺ and we frown upon it. Whereas there is nothing wrong. A few years here and there, sometimes it's a little bit bigger. The age gap actually, for as long as the two parties are willing to get married, the, the deen and akhlaq, like we say, the character and the religiousness of the people is satisfactory, then you don't need to worry too much about the age because age is just a number. I've known of people who've married others who are much younger than them. And guess what? They lost them through death at a certain point a few years later. And I know people who've married uh, women who are much older than them and they lived for many, many years so happily and so on. It's all in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the moral of what I'm saying today is do not prohibit your child from marrying a spouse who is older or younger based on an age. Some people, even if it's a few months, they make an issue. Some people, a year, two years, they make an issue. There is no issue. You might have the best spouse and this woman might be five years older than you. Subhanallah, she might be the best person ever for you and you probably would be amazed and impressed and very, very happy and content. There is nothing wrong. Let us correct this misconception. We don't have a problem when the spouse is older or younger. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us true happiness. The cultures look at it as taboo. Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have not considered that as taboo at all. Evidence of it, like I said, the messengers, may peace be upon them, have practiced upon it and so have their companions. So may Allah guide us to do the right thing. May we make it easy for our children to marry. I'd rather marry a brilliant person who is perhaps a few years older than me than to marry a person who is by the way or who is not even acceptable simply because they are younger than me. May Allah guide us all. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.